Hey guys, this is Dennis. Uh, in a moment, I'm going to show you a proven method to triple your account by the end of the year. But before we get started with that, I, if this is the first time you've joined us on either YouTube or Instagram, please follow us and or subscribe. Uh, hit the uh, bell to be notified of new content and uh, leave us a note in the comments and give us a thumbs up. That's the way you can support this small business. So let's get going. One of the things I want to, uh, whether the market goes up, down, or sideways, one is here's a way you can triple your account by the end of December 2020. And what is that way? Well, it's very simple. Compounding interest. Um, one of the things that people just don't understand is they don't understand how compounding interest works. As Einstein said here, compounding interest is the eighth wonder of the world. <laughs> Uh, and he who understands it earns it. He who doesn't understand it has to wind up paying it. So we want to be on the side of the persons who earn the interest. A person needs to take compounding into consideration as they work into their trading plan. It's one of the things we you know, really uh, preach at Active Trend Trading. And it's one of the things we've implemented as we uh, went into implementing for our Power Ranked Elite Watch List. We want to provide the best stocks that have the potential of generating a kind of return in a short period of time that lets us accelerate our compounding effort. So how does, con what is compounding? There's a couple of critical elements you need to consider when you're talking about compounding. The first one is one, the compound rate. In other words, that's the percentage you get on the funds you have invested. Stock market provides us those great other tools to come up with a compounding rate that can help accelerate your growth. Two, you have to understand your compounding period. Uh, is your compounding period going to be a day, a month, a week, a quarter, a year? Some institutions typically measure the compounding period either over the quarter and over, over a year period of time. If we look at things slightly different, you'll be able to find out a, both a compounding rate and a compounding period that will help us get there faster. That's what the rest of this video is about. Know how to get there. And I'm gonna explain that as we go forward. Uh, first, I wanna show you what does a compounding table look like? Um, the compounding table is just very simple. One is I have a compounding rate. In this case, I chose 4.59%. Uh, I will show you why I chose that a little bit earlier. I chose an amount of capital that I'm going to start with. I started with a very small, small amount, uh, $2,000. The, the, uh, the importance behind $2,000 is that's the, the level of, of dollars to invest with a brokerage so you can actually have a marginable account. And, uh, but don't worry, if you don't understand that right now, that's fine. It's just, you know, this could be $1,000. And then I have my periods here. Uh, this could be a day, this could be a, a week. In this particular case, I'm doing 13 weeks, which equates to approximately one quarter. In other words, three months of time. My com so I'm compounding 4.59% every week, every week, every week. And as you can see, by the end of 13 weeks or one quarter, my $2,000 will have grown to what? 35, a little bit over $3,500. If I continue to do this through the, you know, week after week after week after week, without taking a lot of time, you know, without taking a lot of time to do it, by the end of 26 weeks, oh, 26 weeks, that's half of a year. Oh, that's the end of December 2000, <laughs> 2020. My $2,000 will have grown to $6,423.54. Uh, three times what I started with. Um, what if I did the same thing but did it for 52 weeks, a full year? Well, we can roll over here and I want to show the power of this. 52 weeks. By the end of 52 weeks, my $2,000 had now grown to $20,000, a little bit over that. And one of the things that's very interesting about that, and I want to highlight, especially for the folks who are on fixed incomes and that kind of stuff, if you learn how to do this, even if you're on a fixed income, if I never grow my account any further than 
2000 a uh, correction and then the $20,000 I could start generating income on a weekly basis of about $900 you know would $900 extra per week which equates to what is that $3600 a month would that you know help change your life could you maybe you know take take better not better care but Maybe put aside some for your, your grandkids' uh, college uh, or that vacation you've been promising yourself to go on for this area to you. And this one of the ways that in Active Trend Trader we provide for this is the Power Rank Elite Top 5. And with that, what we do is I, we identify on weekends the top five stocks with, the, with where we want to buy, where we want to, you know, where we want to enter, where we want to exit, where our stop loss is, is to protect our uh, our capital. And so here's an example of one of those that we did here recently. Um, we identified over the weekend, in this particular case, we got into a trade over here somewhere, but we identified on this weekend. We said Square has popped up here and we expect it to pull back where? Into the moving averages. So I sent out the alert here. And so the uh, you know, members who, you know, follow the trade uh, uh, pre-flight checklist, they were ready to go so they get their orders in place. And sure enough, the orders were in place. And on 421, we were filled at $59 on Square. Square continued to move up. There was no, you know, and continued to go higher, higher, higher. We got up to past areas of resistance. And if you don't know what resistance is, that's okay. It just means where, where there was a level of buyers and sellers who, you know, were in the past came in. And we said, hey, let's go ahead and take some profit. So we sold our shares at 68.68 for a 16.41% 16, 16, uh, gain over about a three week period. We, we basically put those, those funds back into the bank and then we started waiting and or we traded the next week's group of stocks that came out. Um, and, you know, since the beginning of the year, we have had basically 21 different stocks that we have traded. 18 of them resulted in profits. The profits on those turned out to be 4.57%, 4.57, 4 4.59. That's basically over the weekend, here, which was back towards the beginning of, of June, we had another trigger saying, okay, if prices pull back into this area down in here, we want to be in the trade. So we put out the alerts here, and then the, the members could put in the orders if they wanted to. Or And last Friday, we were entered the trade at 86.25, and as you can see, as of the close on Tuesday, this is uh, June 16th. Already, the we had our breakout, which is a very strong, strong move, and the, and the position is already up 9.84%. Now, does it happen on every stock the same way? No. But at the same time, uh, it's happened enough time when you're hitting over 85% win-loss ratio. In other words, the winning trades are 85% of, uh, of, of the time. And the average is 4.57%. The probability of continuing to uh, uh, generate those kind of returns is in our favor. So it's not a promise, but it's just a probability. So if you're interested in you know, wanting my weekly trading plan, the pre-flight checklist on the five best opportunities we see in the market every week, you can go here to this website, and that's basically activetrendtrading.com. So there's our highlight, uh, basically, and there's the stocks that we did trade. You know, 18 winners, three losers, 85% win-loss uh, ratio, 4.57. So trade the best, avoid the worst, and you can find us at activetrendtrading.com. You know, isn't it time for you to engage your autopilot trades so you can do better in the market and also take care advantage of compounding? If you have any questions, hey, leave me a comment, send me a text, you know, DM me, and we will move forward from there. So aloha, God bless everybody.